go to Cincinnati and Coach Tuberville. The Bearcats are four and two overall, one and one in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, Cincinnati last played on Friday. Uh, Cincinnati beat Temple 38 to 20. Uh, Bearcats back in action Saturday against UConn at Nippert Stadium. That will be a noon Eastern time start on ESPNU. Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call this week. If you take a minute to tie up the win against Temple on Friday uh, and then tell us what you're looking forward to back at home uh, Saturday against UConn. Thank you. We uh, played a little bit better this week in our second conference game after our, our opening loss against USF. We uh, looked like a football team on offense. We uh, made some plays. We were able to control the ball on, on the line of scrimmage and running the football and throwing the football down the field. Brandon Kay had an excellent game. Ended up second half 15 out of 15, which uh, was a, which, uh, uh, something that we'd, we'd look for out of him in terms of consistency. It played one half or the other. Uh, defensively, we didn't play that well. We uh, missed a lot of tackles, didn't line up right. Uh, looked like we were running in, in mud, so to speak, in that game. And Hopefully we can play better this week. We're better than that on defense, but uh, didn't have any significant injuries. Uh, only had one turnover in the game, had 11 penalties. That was too many, uh, but we played a little bit better than we did the week before. Did you have a word or two about UConn, Coach? Pardon me? A uh, word or two about UConn, perhaps? Okay, yeah, going into UConn game this week. It's our homecoming, second week in a row that we're at home. We're excited about that. Last week we played on Friday night at 8.30. This week we play Saturday at noon, which is totally different uh, but we're just excited about getting back out on the field. We, we've got huge room for improvement. And playing a team that don't know a lot about because they've changed their quarterback, he's played one game, a little bit different offense. Defensively, it's pretty much the same after changing coaching staff. Uh, but uh, they play hard. They play good technique on defense. Offensively, uh, it looks like they've gone the youth route with their new quarterback, throwing the ball down the field, uh, trying to make plays with their running game. Last week, they had a very good running game with running back having over 150 yards. Uh, so uh, it'd be a good game for us. We we just need to worry about ourselves. Go out and try to get better fundamentals. We're still not a very good fundamental team, and stay away from the uh, the penalties. Pen penalties have really hurt us this year. Take questions for Coach Tommy Tuberville, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Tom Groshen with the Cincinnati Inquirer. Hey, Coach. Facing uh, T.J. Weist. This week, obviously, he was at UC when you were transitioning in. Can you comment on that, how that went a little bit? Was he considered, or I don't know if you were looking at a whole new staff, or just maybe talk a little bit about him and, and how that changed over uh, to your staff this year? Yeah, I had a chance to talk to TJ. He was here during the bowl preparation and, and during the bowl game. He's one of the coaches that stayed behind, did a good job. Uh, but I hired an offensive coordinator and by getting him, I allowed him to hire who he wanted, who he is familiar with. Uh, not anything against TJ. It's just uh, uh, Eddie Grand wanted to hire some guys that he'd worked with before. So uh, he's at Connecticut now. Now the now is the head coach, and so uh, a little bit different responsibility. But I'm sure he's excited about coming back and coaching against his former team. Do you have much uh, background with him? I know the coaching fraternity is. Uh, smaller than it might seem to some of us, but what, what do you know yeah. about him? No, not really. Uh, no, uh, I, I, you know, I've never had a chance to run across the pass or coach against him. Uh, but uh, it's a little bit bigger profession what what you would think. But uh, uh, no, I've, I've never coached against him before. Yeah. Thank you. We'll go next to Joey Johnston with the Tampa Tribune. Yeah, Tom, you mentioned earlier about your uh, conference opener against USF. Do you remember they, they were able to win without scoring an offensive touchdown, and they, they did it again against UConn, the first team to win two straight like that in, in 11 years, I believe. Um, what, do you, what do you make of that? And uh, Do these things just run in cycles, or, or is it possible you can have a mentality where in the short term you can thrive and find a way to, to do it on the other phases of the game and, 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 and get by without big offense? You know, I've always said you can win ball games just playing defense as long as you didn't turn the ball over on offense, and uh, they're doing exactly that. You know, we fumbled the ball, and they picked up scored, and then they blocked the field goal, and uh, then they just kicked field goals. They didn't score an offensive touchdown. Uh, they, they're they're very aggressive on the defensive side of the ball, which you need to be when your offense is sputtering. Uh, they obviously lost their key weapons in their quarterback and their running back versus us. 
And so if they've got an opportunity to continue to win games, it's going to have to be on defense to create turnovers, short field position for the offense. But I tell you, they play hard, and that's that's the number one key, uh, you know, playing hard and creating havoc and, and creating turnovers. But that's amazing to win two ball games in a row without scoring an offensive touchdown. Eventually they know they'll catch up with them, and, uh, but uh, they're doing the right thing of uh, trying to win on defense. Thanks, Tom. And do we have any, any other questions for Coach Tuberville, please? And we have no more questions. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, thanks for the time this week. Look forward to talking to you again next Monday. Okay. Right, and that is uh, Cincinnati against UConn at Nipper Stadium. That will be a noon Eastern time start on ESPNU.